sweet poetic justice. Leftist charge with assault, battery, and criminal threats, all felonies for punching a conservative. The big bully has been arrested and he's got three felonies now and a $30,000 bail. Authorities filed multiple charges on Tuesday against an unhinged liberal for punching a conservative activist on UC Berkeley's campus last month. Here's a mugshot of Zachary Greenberg, 28, caught on video punching conservative activist Hayden Williams on Sproul Plaza at UC Berkeley as victim trained TPUSA per UCPD at California. $30,000 arrest for for the arrest on suspicion of felony assault with force likely to cause great bodily injury. Zachary Greenberg charged by Alameda County DA with assault, battery, and criminal threats, all felonies, for punching Hayden Williams on Sproul Plaza at UC Berkeley, per the UCPD of California. Greenberg also charged with misdemeanor vandalism for damaging Williams' cell as he recorded attack. Her DA. How do you feel now, Mr. Greenberg? That's what you call a Sunday punch. Well, normally a Sunday punch is on the back of the neck and it will really shock your nerves and could break your neck. But Sunday punch or uh, uh, what I mean by is, is that without notice, the guy's standing right in front of him head to head and then all of a sudden he just punches him. That is the lowest form of an attack you can, you can ever do. It is. He deserves to have the book thrown at him. The Alameda County District Attorney's Office has filed criminal felony charges against a software engineer who allegedly attacked a conservative activist at the University of California Berkeley campus on February 19th. The charges against the engineer. Engineer? I guess that kind of maybe put a damper in his career. Zachary Greenberg, 28, include three felony accounts, one misdemeanor account, according to a criminal complaint obtained by Fox News. The felony counts relate to assault and causing or intending bodily harm and criminal threats. A misdemeanor count is related to vandalism, the complaint shows. The charge comes five days after police arrested Greenberg for allegedly attacking Hayden Williams, who is 26, while he was manning a recruitment table on campus for the conservative group Turning Point USA. And not only that, but uh, Hayden Williams joined the President of the United States. I think it was at CPAC. Yes, uh, we are pleased that the good investigative work of our police department has led to the filing of these charges. Dan Mogoluf, assistant vice chancellor at UC Berkeley, told Fox News, the university believes that those who violate the free speech rights of others must be held accountable and face the appropriate consequences. The end, the rise and fall of Antifa. Don't you just love it? You rose and you died. Yep, just love it. And then there's just in R. Kelly breaks his silence and it's bad. R&B singer Robert Kelly spoke for the first time in an interview that will air Wednesday about his new sexual assault allegations that he is facing and adamantly denies with them with tears from fake news CBS morning. You know, and, and once again, you know, these fake news sites to keep doubling down on stupid like Jesse Smollett and many others and then they find out that the guy was totally you know they try to make it sound like he is, is innocent because it's a black man white man is bad evil right so they got to protect the black man in all cases because we're trying to paint a narrative here that white people are evil and black people are always innocent 
but it's not the truth in crime, drugs, but well, not so much drugs, but crime, murder, and rape. Black men have far more offenses in society than the white men. Right? You just do, do a little investigation. You'll find out what I'm telling you is four times, 400% more. That's right. Not twice, not three, but four times. Anyway, R. Kelly, charged with aggravated sexual abuse, angrily denies the accusations in an explosive new interview with Gail King. Whether they're old rumors, new rumors, future rumors, not true. And you know what's funny is, is that a lot of women, especially white women, have gone after black men because they say they're sweeter, more athletic, kinder, respectful, treat their women better. I find that to be hard to believe when I see that their rape, their um, murder, killing of innocent life is far higher. And their crime, robberies, burglaries, all of them, far higher, four times, three to four times higher on the average per person compared to white men. Tell me, how does that one pan out for you, ladies? Well, how it pans out is because you believe fake news. It's a fact that deadbeat fathers, the, ki the king of them in the races is a black man as well. It's a fact. But you know, they're kind, sweet, athletic, respectful, and take care of you. Duped. Gail King. They are still talking about you with underage girls. Do you still sit here and say you have never been with underage girls? Can you really say that? I sit here and say this. I had two cases back then that I said in the beginning of the interview that Pedophilia. I was about underage girls. Of my ongoing case now. Okay. Right? Okay. okay. Fair enough. But okay. it's only a pedophilia. I will tell you this: people are going back to my past. Okay? That's exactly what they're doing. They're going back to the past and they're trying to add all of this stuff now to that, to make all of the stuff that's going on now feels real to people. But the past is relevant with you with underage girls. Absolutely no, it's not. Why? Because for one, I beat my case. <laughs> when you beat something, you, you beat it. You were acquitted. We can't. Yeah. Yo, know, you were acquitted just like OJ Simpson, right? Double jeopardy me. Yeah, remember now, O.J. Simpson and his black wife, right? Like that. You can't. It's not fair. It's not fair to nobody. When you beat your case, you beat your case. But I'm not talking about the one case in which you were acquitted. I'm talking about the other cases where women have come forward mm -hmm. and said, R. Kelly had sex with me mm -hmm. when I was under the age of 18. Mm -hmm. R. Kelly was abusive to me emotionally and physically and verbally. Okay. R. Kelly took me in a black room where unspeakable things happened. This is what they're saying about you. Not this, true. These aren't these aren't old rumors. Not true. Whether they're old rumors, new rumors, why would they say this rumors, about you? Not true. But you know, I'm just a racist for giving you the truth. And correct me if I'm wrong, that you have never held anybody against their will. I don't need to. That Why would I? Well, I'm How I'm, stupid would you never held anybody? R. Kelly with all I've been through in my way, way past to hold somebody? Right. Why would any man ever hold an underage girl pedophilia without their will? Well, how stupid would that be for me to do? It is stupid. Let alone four, five, six, fifty. You said, "What? How stupid would I be to do that?" I didn't say that's you stupid, it. guys. I didn't. Is this camera on me? Yes. It's on. That's stupid. Use your. Co Is this camera on me? You're the one that agreed to the interview. What the hell are you talking about, R. Kelly? Common sense. Don't forget the blogs. Forget how you feel about me. Hate me if you want to, love me if you want, but just use your common sense. How stupid would it be for me to, with my crazy past and what I... How stupid would it be for O.J. Simpson to 
chop up his wife and kill his wife. Yes, it is stupid. But most of America believes it really happened. Been through. Oh, right now, I just think I need to be a monster and hold girls against their will, chain them up in my basement, and, and don't let them eat and don't let them out unless they need some shoes down the street from their uncle. Robert, Stop it. Y'all quit playing. Quit playing. Robert. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me. I, I'm fighting for my life. All I can say, R. Kelly, is you will be fighting for your life when you go before a judge. Thank you for listening. May the Lord bless. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a very important announcement. Would you like to see most of your illnesses go away? Let me introduce you to the Water Smacker, a new modern breakthrough in science has come to knowledge ridding your body of many toxins through this state-of-the-art new technology. The testimonials are endless. People have been healed of shingles, pancreas survivor healed, colon cancer patient healed. Your skin returns its oil back to itself and elasticity. Gray hair goes away. Look younger. Red blood cells return to being round. Plaque in your arteries is wiped out. Blood pressure is lowered. Feel stronger and have more energy. Return to a more youthful feeling and look. Pick up your water smacker today for only $350 and don't forget to mention Brother Jim sent you. The link is down below along with the website and other videos for a much longer description. Thank you.